Every year, Cabrini University gets a little bigger. This is thanks to the many of Cabrini's new staff, faculty, and transfer students. Let's find out where a few of them came from. It was very nice. It prepared me for Cabrini. It prepared me for a four-year college. I feel like the, the classes were, were really great. Like that school is a really good school as far as like the environment and as far as like the classes and the teachers as well. Being at Delaware County, I already knew that I wanted to go to a school that um, I was going to be able to finish up my major with. I just didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do, but then I learned about digital communications and that was when I really knew I liked the variety. Like I liked knowing that if I wanted to go into PR or advertising or journalism. It's um, a pretty big school. The class sizes are about like 30, 35 people and it just... It was a place I went, got like my classes done, and then just went home. Nothing real too like exciting about it. It was a little bit bigger than here. Um, it was much farther away. It was in about a 45 minute commute as opposed to a 25 minute commute. According to collegetransfer.net, 104 students transferred to Cabrini this year alone, and each individual has their own personal story about how they found out about Cabrini. I previously worked at Laurel House Domestic Violence Program, and they were a community partner with Cabrini. So I would come here and do a ECG 300 class with Dr. Persichetti's. So I spent a lot of time here doing that and speaking in other classes about domestic violence, sexual assault. Um, I was laid off from that agency due to budget cuts. Worked somewhere else. A cousin who um, worked at Eastern where I went to school, don't throw rocks at my head, um, saw this job opening and emailed it to me. and said, this is right up your alley, you know Gabrini, you better apply for this job. If you don't, I'm coming to your house and hit you. So I applied a long time ago and didn't hear back until maybe a year or two later that they were looking at filling the position. So it was sort of like a round the way kind of way of me hearing about the job. I was actually set on Bloomsburg completely until I came here. I didn't even know really what Cabrini was, but then I toured and fell in love with the campus, the people, the community, and then transferred here. Um, you know, I get like um, job posting emails all the time. And so I literally saw the job posting four times before I applied because I wasn't really looking to move. And when I saw it the fourth time, I thought, hmm, the world is trying to tell me something. Where I was working, a couple years ago, probably like two years ago, um, a girl named Amira, she, were t she was telling me about Cabrini University and I, um, I lived down the street and I was like, okay, well it's pretty convenient. So I looked into it and she was like, Cabrini University, they have like a good communications program and you know, you should look into it and it's close and just to see if you wanted to, you know, go there, see, you know, just see how it is. And that's what I did. I learned that Cabrini had um, Digicom. I was pretty sold on it. First years can be pretty tough, especially starting at a new university. Here's how their first years have been. Right away, I felt like I was contributing, and um, I'm driven by that. So I'm driven by being part of a team, sort of doing my part. I'm not driven by being in a corner alone doing my work. I, I like that collaboration. I did get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I guess that's what you need to have if you want to be in the communication fields to get out your comfort zone and be comfortable with talking to people and being around people and having confidence. And that's what I've that's what I've learned. I would say. I, I like it. It's, it's really close to home for me. Um, I love the campus. I like the people that I'm meeting and I'm, I'm learning a lot, so I like it. So far, I do like it. It's um, a big community. Everyone's really there for you, which is nice. Um, the education programs are really up there. I feel like I'm getting the full experience and everything that I need to be able to graduate and get a job and not really struggle with anything. And one of my favorite things about teaching at Cabrini is that I can honestly tell you that I laugh every single day. Every single day I laugh at something. So I like it because I'm able to do things that are outside just the, the definition of my job. I like it because I like the people and I can laugh because there's a lot of um, good opportunity. Now for the big question. After completing your first year, do you think you'll be returning back to Cabrini? Go anywhere else? No, this is it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can see a good path for me to stay here. I can see good places for me to sort of make my niche. I would love to stay. Yes, I am going to stay here. Oh yeah, definitely staying for good. Just going to get these last two years done and graduate and just keep on going and be done.